It's raining. There's snow on the ground. But look at all of this. Whoa! Whoa! Oops. Sorry, I keep sinking in the snow. This is definitely unofficial boondocking land. I'm gonna mark all these areas, the GPS, once I leave them, you know, for all the stalkers out there. Uh, no, for all the people who want to find these different places that I've been, who knows. Um, I'll post them probably in my Instagram and YouTube channels, just in case you want to experience uh, what I'm experiencing. Uh, anyway, it's like, um, I don't know, 6 p.m. or something. It's, it's starting to get dark. And it's rainy, it's cold, and I'm going to call it a day. Just get inside the cab and do some reading. I might just do that book that um, my friend Eve suggested, Travels with Charlie. John Steinbeck apparently named his truck that he traveled to the U.S., and he named it Rossinante too. And I had not known that. <laughs> but, of course, it makes sense. Probably half, half the people with pickup trucks call their trucks Rosinante. Probably all the literary majors. Anyway, it's, the wind's kicking up a little bit. I'm going to get inside and warm up. Maybe have a beer or two. And Gabby and Eve, you just let me know. Um, I could probably reach anywhere in the U.S. in a couple weeks at least. Maybe less, depending on where you are. I'm in New Mexico right now. So uh, just let me know, time and place, and I'll be there. And uh, I'd be happy to catch any climbs. I actually didn't know how much climbing I'd be doing, so you're giving me hope that I actually might climb with some people. It'll be really great to see you. For the folks that don't know, I met both of them at a uh, crack climbing clinic with Steph Davis. Yes, the Steph Davis. Oh, everything is fogging up. This is the dream sequence right now. Hello. Oh. Welcome to my world. Steinbeck wrote about his travels to the U.S. because he was writing about America, um, such as Grapes of Wrath, but he had not seen America. And I find it so oddly serendipitous that um, I'm also in a truck. I'm not traveling with a dog, but I am out to see more of the, the U.S., more of America, that we both named our trucks Rossinante after, um, you know, the man of La Mancha. Ali serendipitous to me.
I previously made a video trying to seal this gap between the cab and the camper and I used a garage seal but um, it didn't work all that hot frankly and someone again mentioned a pool noodle it gave just real basic instructions like cut it and then fit it <laughs> so I always thought that they meant you know cut it um, in sections and that didn't make sense to me but then it dawned on me duh that you cut it lengthwise and then spread it apart and then it fits nice and neatly. I left a gap here uh, in case I want uh, a little breeze and then I'll plug it up with another short piece. That way if I just want a little bit of breeze I can just pop that little piece out and um, but otherwise I can also seal it up. Anyway I think this is an improvement over what I had before. We'll see how it goes. I probably should have used a slightly bigger pull noodle. And actually I didn't use a pull noodle. I, I used a, um, it's called pipe insulation because it's already split. It's split to go around a tube anyway. You don't have to split it on your own, say with a pull noodle. I suggest doing that. You can get them at any hardware store. I'll give you a more comprehensive tour in the future. But right now I'm gonna drink a beer. Ooh, he's delicioso.